Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. So today the Thanksgiving event has started, it has begun, and I wanted to show some of the uh, things I've been doing in order for me to try and rank up as much as high as I can on the on the event. So what I first, one of the first things I do is try and find a cluster of a bunch of barbarians. And what I what I'm doing right now is uh, I have noticed is I am gonna be using. I'm gonna be using two, just two armies right now, just in order for me to save AP. But what I'm, what I wanted to show you guys is the commanders that I recommend using is. So right now I have Julius. I'm gonna be using him as, since he has a lot of, a lot of buffs that increase the damage and the defense. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing him is him attacking attacking and using Lohar as the secondary commander so they're going to be taking the most damage from the barbarians and have Minamoto since he's a nuke he's a nuker he's going to be using his active skill so I'm going to have him just attacking uh, the barbarian on the side with Boudicca and I chose Lohar with Julius because as you can see Lohar has a, a skill that, in, that heals units uh, after leaving the the battle and even though I haven't really updated uh, upgraded him that much this is one of the really good skills you want during this event just because the fact that you you're gonna need your troops really to be surviving out there fight fighting as many as many barbarians as you can because if you see the the event the event rules just lets you just one army as long as and if it returns to the if it returns back to your kingdom, it will reset. It will reset the the amount of points you've been acquiring or cornopias. And also another tip I want to tell you guys is always just try and focus on level 21 through level 23. So try and find as many, just because you can you get 10 of them anyways. So if you try to find uh, barbarians that are level 21 through 23, you should you. You should might as well try and acquire those, but don't try to go more than 23, like 24 and 25, because then your troops do really start taking a lot of damage for the same amount of points. So like right here, I see a, I see that there's a lot of uh, 23s and 24s right here. So since just because they are already right here and it seems like nobody else is trying to aim for that, I'm just going to go ahead and first just send the troop that's going to take most of the damage, which is going to be my jewelry. Julius with my Lohar so that the, the barbarians can be attacking them and then I'm gonna send my Minamoto my nuker just to give them as much damage as I can to them and since the Teutonic Knights are really good at health that's why I filled up the, their skills uh, I filled up Julius with Teutonic Knights because his their health is really good it's really high so you see, the barbarians are only attacking Julius, and and Minamoto is taking half as much damage as Julius. What what Ju Minamoto is doing is, since he's a nuker, he's doing as much damage as he as he can, while while as many troops as he has. So the more troops he has, the more damage he's gonna do while doing his skill. So you want to keep his troops as high as you can every time. And that's the reason I'm I'm gonna be letting Julius take all the damage. So, yeah, guys, that's just one of the things I wanted to show you, and I'm a, I'm gonna try it out and see. I'm just gonna be attacking a bunch of them, and I'm gonna see how high I can get on the on the event, and then I'll get back with y'all guys and show you how I did. That's, this is just the technique I'm gonna be using. Just always make sure that the first guy that the guy that's gonna be the one acquiring the corn things to be attacking first that way he can get them and you just as long as he survives but you want your nuker to always just try and do his skill so the barbarian is focused on him so see I try and just it's important for you to just use use two troops and I've noticed that because this event requires a lot of AP a lot of action points and you 
I, I realized that the best the best one probably just with two you, you're gonna need two if you want to get higher up in the you know, a lot of people you just use one and I, I myself did it and I realized I lost a lot of AP doing that and I just wanted to tell you guys that you know maybe you guys can try it out But uh, another, some of the buffs I used was the troop attack and the troop capacity. Because since you want your troops to really last a lot, you want them to, to, to increase the capacity of your commanders. I also got a rune of fury, so it increased the attack by 7%. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to keep on going with the event, trying to find some other, other barbarians to attack. What I'm mostly looking for are 21s. Because those are the really the ones that get you the same amount of points, which is 10, but without doing as much damage to your troops already. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see how I get on the event, I'll get back. So, so far, my Julius has taken a beating. He has lost almost uh, 60,000 troops, or Teutonic Knights, and my Minamoto... It's still kind of good, so what I'm gonna be doing is just keep on just hitting level 21 barbarians and try to save as many troops as I can. That way, I can uh, the rank the score I have right now. I think it's 130. I'm not sure, so I still got a while. But uh, anyways, whenever whenever we get whenever we get all the all the event through the event or whatever what I can try and do is since I'm using the commander that has uh, the skill of healing troops uh, you always want to try and I just upgraded this one a little bit more that way I can have uh, my troops healing up so you want to have that skill really high as high as you can really I just haven't had a time to work on Lohar Another cool trick I wanted to show you guys that might you might you guys might find useful is whenever whenever you see that your troops are kind of far apart. Uh, let me see if I can get another better so I can show you guys. Like right here, I'm gonna be attacking with both troops, and before one of them arrives, what I do is just before they're about to arrive usually like five seconds before or, or, or three seconds i just stop them or make them camp and wait until the other one gets near and then click for march so if you see that way i can they can both be usually attacking around the same time instead of having a big gap between them so yeah another i wanted to show you that's another thing i always do whenever i I'm attacking another alliances or I'm attacking barbarians and I want because it, on this game the surrounding it's really important whenever you're finding other troops because it adds damage to your troops so so yeah so far that's that's my that's the score I have right now so I'm gonna keep going and see how it goes but I'll get back with you guys Okay guys, so I just realized something else now that maybe might be useful with you guys in this event is that as long as the first army, the army that's acquiring the points, which is my Julius, he has to be the one attacking the first barbarians. And then from there, the the second troop really can just is just there to help out. So my next um my next tactic is gonna be 
just going and attacking this these barbarians but also just camp my troops while my e AP action points are replen replenishing you know how uh, just wait like three hours and then keep on attacking but just make sure that your troops that are getting the points do not go, do not go back to your kingdom just have them camp outside and next to next to your your castle or somewhere around the map and until until your action points replenish that way you can send a bunch of troops at a time and keep your score going up so as of right now i have 84,000 so what i'm going to start doing from now on is just these troops right here can go back and they can go heal and also i can bring other troops and just i can also bring other troops from my kingdom in order for me to start attacking also so what i'm gonna do is just bring a bunch of more troops in order to help attacking the barbarians And all the one that matters is really just the one acquiring the points. He has to, you have to make sure that he's the first one to attack. And just have your other troops help him out in defeating it. And the faster you defeat the troops or the barbarians, the faster you um, you can acquire the points. And you can really rank up really high up in the... And what I'm going to focus on right now is just trying to get 21s. And see how I do, cause right now you'll see my score, and I've I've seen that maybe if I do this tactic, it will it will increase my chances on getting a little bit higher on the board. So I just realized you do gotta make sure the one acquiring the points is the one making the the first attack. Uh, Minamoto has been taking a beating, but he can still go on. I'm still have him continue battle. I just gotta make sure my Julius kind of stays stays with many troops. So what I'm going to do is just. Oh, uh, you see, like, I think that's an example I could have showed you. I meant to show you, I was wanting to get it on, I'll record it. I think, you see how he's attacking Pele just, I think Pele just, yeah, he acquired the points. So that's a lot of mistakes, so maybe a lot of y'all have been making and I made them my, myself. And that's why I kind of want to stress stress now that he Julius has to be the one attacking first. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's just make sure he, he's the one attacking or get him really close. He's going to be the first one. And this is a tip I do usually. Just wait until both other troops are almost close and then just make sure that Make sure that he's attacking Julius. This this event will take a lot of AP. And you see he I'm at 260 right now, so Yeah guys, so this this was just a really quick video just to try and make you just show you guys how I'm gonna be using my tactic and maybe it'll help you guys out. Just let me Comment down below what other tips you you want to or any questions you might have and I, I might answer them for you if I have a chance. Another thing I wanted to show uh, a lot of people is that as you can see right here, this is the resources I've been doing for the past, what, like a couple of hours. And a lot of people ask me what's like the best thing you suggest or whatever and I just tell them, to be honest, that's why I, I focus a lot on troops 
because when you have a lot of troops you can do a lot of rallies you can do you can kill a lot of barbarians get a lot of gems by itself and this right here is like a couple hours of just killing barbarians with a lot of troops or whatever and trying to kill and uh, you see my resources right now I'm just gonna go ahead and max all of them out and see how much resources I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna go with stone I usually go with stone since stone is really um, it's really hard to acquire in the map I try to go since uh, really food and wood is, is a little bit easier to farm every time it asks me for those questions I try to go towards the stone because I realize stone is it's a little bit harder to map uh, to farm on the map but you see guys I, I acquired a lot like with many troops I acquired almost 10 million for every for every resources in literally like like an hour like maybe an hour or two I was just straight killing with a bunch of troops like I had my AP saved up my action points or I just make sure that uh, your troops are always camped out for this for this event and that way your AP action points can just be recovering that's like one of the main tips I wanted to show you that I've learned and and yeah um, I'm gonna continue my event but let me don't forget to subscribe and comment down below let me know what you guys want to know about this before the kingdom versus kingdom event starts and thanks for watching guys again and see you until next time